Steppeth the law shall be punished, for only through law comes the freedom of men. Cause thou not fear, for fear is bondage, a fetter that binds the darkness to all men. Follow thine heart during thy lifetime. Do thou more than is commanded of thee. When thou hast gained riches, follow thine heart, for all these are of no avail if thine heart be weary, and diminish thou not the time of following thine heart. It is a port of the soul. They that are guided go not astray, but they that are loose cannot find a straight path. If thou go among men, make for thyself love in the beginning and the end of the heart. If one cometh unto thee for counsel, let him speak freely. That thing for which he hath come to thee may be done. If he hesitates to open his heart to thee, it is because thou, the judge, doest the wrong. Repeat thou not extravagant speech, neither listen thou to it. For it is utterance of one not in equilibrium. Speak thou not of it so that he before thee may know wisdom. Silence is of great profit, and abundance of speech profiteth nothing. Exalt thou thine own heart above the children of men. Do not do this, lest it be brought lower than dust. If thou be great among men, be honored for knowledge and gentleness. If thou seekest to know the nature of a friend, ask not his companion, but pass the time alone with him, debate with him, testing his heart by the words of his bearing. That which goeth into the storehouse must come forth, and the things that are thine must be shared with a friend. Knowledge is regarded by the fool as ignorance, and the things that are profitable are to him hurtful, he liveth in death, and it is therefore of his food. The wise man lets his heart overflow, but keeps silent his mouth. O oh, men, listen to the voice of wisdom, listen to the voice of light. Mysteries there are in the cosmos that unveiled fill the world with light, and let he who would be free from the bonds of darkness first divine the material from the immaterial, and the fire from the earth. For know ye that as earth descends to earth, so also fire descends unto fire, and becomes one with fire. He who knows the fire that is within himself shall ascend unto the eternal flame and dwell in it eternally. Fire, the inner fire, is the most potent of all force, for it overcometh all things and penetrates to all things of the earth. Man supports himself only that which resists, so earth must resist man, else he existeth not. All eyes do not see with the same vision, for to one an object appears of one other form and color, and to a different eye of another. 
So also, the infinite fire changing from color to color is never the same from day to day. Thus I, Thoth, speak of my wisdom. For man is a fire burning bright through the night, never is quenched in the veil of the darkness, never is quenched in the veil of the night. Into men's heart I looked by my wisdom and found them not free from bondage of strife, free from the toils, the fire, O oh my brothers, lest it be buried in the shadow of the night. Hark ye, O oh men, and list to the wisdom. Where do name and form cease? Only in consciousness, invisible, and infinite force of radiance bright, the forms that ye create by brightening thy vision are truly effects that follow thy cause. Man is a star bound to a body, until in the end he is freed through his strife. Only by struggle and toiling thy utmost shall the star within thee bloom out into a new life. He, he who knows the commencement of all things, free his star from the realms of night. Remember, O oh man, that all which exists is only another form of that which exists not. Everything that has being is passing into yet another being and thou thyself are not an exception. Consider the law, for all is law. Seek not that which is not law, for such exists only as an illusion of the senses. Wisdom cometh to all her children, even as they cometh unto wisdom. All through the ages, the light has been hidden. Awake, O man, and be wise. Deep in the mysteries of life have I traveled, seeking and searching for that which is hidden. List ye, O man, and be wise. Far neath the earth's crust, in the halls of Amenti, mysteries I saw that are hidden from men. Oft have I journeyed the deep hidden passage and looked on the light that is the life among men. There neath the flowers of life, ever living, searched I the hearts and the secrets of men. Found I that man is but a living, but is but living in darkness. Light of the great fire is hidden within. Before the lords of hidden amenity learned I that the wisdom I give unto men, masters are they that are of great secret wisdom. Brought from the future of infinity's end. Seven are they, the lords of Amenti. Overlords, they are the children of mourning, sons of the cycles, masters of wisdom. Formed are not they as the children of men. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are the titles of the master of men. Far from the future, formless and yet forming, Came they as teachers, for the children of men live they forever, yet not of the living. Bound not to life, yet free from death. Rule they forever with infinite wisdom, and bound yet not bound to dark, the halls of death. Life they have in them, yet life that is not life. Free from all the lords of all. Forth from them came forth the Logos, instruments they of the power over all. Vast is their countenance, yet hidden is their smallness. Formed by a forming, known yet known. Three holds the key of all hidden magic, creator he of the halls of the dead. Sending forth power, shrouding with darkness, Binding the souls of the children of men, sending darkness, binding the soul force, director of the negative to the children of men. Light is his body, flame is his countenance, freer of souls to the children of men. Five is the master and the lord of all magic, the key to the word that resounds among men. 
Six is the Lord of Light, the hidden pathway to the path of the souls of the children of men. Seven is he who is the Lord of vastness, the master of space and the key of times. Eight is he who orders the progress, ways and the balances of the journey of men. Nine is the father, vast he is of countenance forming and changing from out of the formless. Meditates on the symbols I give thee. Keys are they, though hidden from men. Reach ever upward, O soul of the morning. Turn thy thoughts upward to the light and to life. Find the keys of the numbers I bring thee. Light on the pathways from the life unto life. Seek ye wisdom, and turn thy thoughts inward, and close not thy mind to the flower of light. Place in thy body a thought formed picture. Think of the numbers that lead thee to life. Clear is the pathway to he who has wisdom. Open the door to the kingdom of light. Pour forth thy flame as the sun of the morning, and shut out the darkness and live in the day. Take thee, O man, as part of thy being, the seven who are but are not as they seem. Open, O man, have I my wisdom. Follow the path in the way I have led. Masters of wisdom, son of the morning, light in the life of the children of men.